What up, homies? JR here. We are out on the toy hunt. First off, let me say, I don't even know if I remember how to vlog. And secondly, we're at one of my go-to spots here in Colorado, out the box in Thornton. And we're on the hunt today, of course, for some WWE stuff, maybe a couple Marvel pieces, Ninja Turtles. I don't exactly know what we're gonna find, but let's hop on inside and get after it. Come on. I'll tell you, the thing that I love about coming here is just the nostalgia. It hits you right in the face in the best way possible. The best way that I can describe it is it's like coming to your bedroom in the 90s. Let's go take a look at the WWE stuff. So I know that the majority of it is gonna be right over here. And yeah, right down here, you can see some elites, some ultimates, some Lucy's. We even got some DVDs, it looks like. I'm eyeing this sting right here. This sting looks pretty sick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get them to grab that sting for me, that's for sure. We got some more Ultimates, some Legends. This Matt Riddle might be kind of cool to pick up. Gosh, I could spend an entire afternoon in here, and that's the big problem about coming here. Like these masks right here. These things are crazy. And then we got two more of them down here. I don't necessarily know what superstars these are. This black one here looks like a Sin Cara mask, which is really cool. For only 15 bucks, I might as well wear it just to try to scare my neighbors or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Ultimate Eddie Guerrero up here. This is part of that new Monday Night Wars line. That's kind of sick. Coliseum Collection Terry Funk. All right, before I make my WWE selections, I want to check out the Marvel figures. There's a few that I'm after. So recently, I started picking up the characters that have the face scans of the actors in the films. So I got a bunch of RDJ as Tony Stark. I got Thor, I got Black Widow, I got Tom Holland as Spider-Man. So I want to try to add to that. I'm looking for, I think I saw a rocket on my way in. So let's go check him out. Right here, there's a rocket right there. And I think I see Odin down here as a Captain America. I passed on this one because I picked up a cap in a two pack, but I do like that one as well. There's a lot of Marvel stuff in here. Some of them I don't even recognize to be honest, but I'll tell you what I do recognize. Look at this carnage right here. You got Doc Ock, you got Civil War Spidey. Look at this 90s phone. Do you think you guys can open up this case so I can look at this, this telephone? Look at this thing. Do you even, okay, tell me in the comments, do you even remember anybody's phone number from back in the day when you were a kid? I, I can't even remember the house number. Making our way down, a bunch, a bunch of turtle stuff in here. Everything from uh, Super 7 stuff, NECA stuff, to uh, vintage turtles, of course. Who doesn't remember Panda Con here, right? Uh, Sergeant Bananas, that's kind of cool to see. And then there's a buttload of Power Rangers. This looks like a Power Rangers Turtles crossover. Those figures are pretty sick. We got some plush Raphaels. All right, coming around here, uh, this is what they call Vendor Row. Uh, so all the different vendors. This is a big consignment shop. Cruising through, cruising through. I always love stopping over here to the custom cups. I'm gonna get this Turtles cup for sure. Let's grab that, because right. that is sick. Oh yeah, that's sick, dude. Look at that. And you wanna talk about a ton of Star Wars stuff? Any and every character. You see, here's the thing, and don't get upset with me. I'm not like a big Star Wars fan, but before you jump into the comments and tear me up, I can appreciate and understand why people love it. I think I've watched like six or seven of the films just because I feel like Star Wars is such a big part of American pop culture that you kind of owe it to yourself to watch it. Uh, and my kind of consensus after watching all the movies was, it's just not for me, but I can definitely understand why people love it. Probably the best gaming console that there's ever been, especially for our generation, right? The Nintendo 64. We got uh, WWF Attitude here, uh, WCW Nitro. Looks like we have uh, Mayhem. I think there's World Tour back there. 
Um, even on the Super Nintendo, there's WrestleMania. And before I get out of here, I'm gonna challenge ATIZ to a game over here. Look at this. So this is the arcade at Out the Box. And if it sounds like I know my way around here, it's because I come here a lot, okay? This is the arcade here. And I wanna challenge him to a game on uh, WWF WrestleMania. One of my favorite things about coming here is nine times out of 10, there's always some like 90s or early 2Ks wrestling on. Uh, so this is just, this is the best. Scott Hall and the Nature Boy here, tearing it up on Nitro. We've got a bunch of horror stuff here. Halloween is my favorite holiday. And honestly, I'm ready to bypass the rest of summer and just get to freaking Halloween season, man. And one of the things also is I love DJing Halloween parties. Those are always some of the most fun just because of the, the costumes and the music and you know, you get it. Check this out. Ugh. So we're gonna make those selections uh, over here in the WWE section. I wanna go with this Sting because I did recently pick up RoboCop here at Out the Box and you can't have RoboCop without Sting, right? If you know, you know. Yeah, this is just a super nice looking figure. Check them out here in the green. That's pretty damn cool. You got the big gold belt here too. Series 62. So this guy did come out long before I even got into the hobby. I've only been collecting Mattel figures for about a year and a half. Uh, I wanna go with Matt Riddle up here. We're gonna All pick right. him up. Let's Just cause if I remember he comes with a scooter, which is kind of funny. Oh, well, he does. Yep. And Matt Riddle isn't part of WWE anymore. So this was his last figure if I recall correctly. It's a top picks one. Anything else out of this? Let's see, man. Well, everything, right, but right. what can I afford today is the real question. Do you know if this is Sin Cara's mask? I don't know. Let's pull it out. Yeah, can we check that it. out? Yeah, most definitely. Because I had one that was in blue. Yeah, that has to be. It has to be, right? I'm pretty sure that's Sin Cara. We're going to go with the mask, too. All right, all right. Yeah, can just because that's fun. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, not to be a pain, but to go back into this, yeah. let's go with... Um, flashback elite of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which I think is a pretty damn cool one. And then there's just a couple Marvel pieces that I wanna go with. And I think that's gonna be it for today, man. Yeah, dude, that's so sick. So again, this is an older elite. And if you look real close at the face, like it's not, it's not very great. This is obviously long before the real scan technology, but I'll tell you the gi is right, just sick. Right. And the yeah, title looks right. good. Right. I'm into it. So that right there is a successful toy hunt here at Out the Box in Thornton, Colorado. We're gonna head back to homie headquarters where I'm gonna break down what I picked up, but stick around because in the end of this video, you're gonna see me kicking Tiz's butt in some uh, WWF arcade. All right, here we are back at the crib and I wanna show you uh, today's haul here from out the box. Uh, and I'm gonna open a couple of these on camera for you as well. I'm um, headed out the door here shortly to go see that new Deadpool Wolverine movie. Pretty pumped about this Sting. Definitely wanna get him out the box. Pair him with my Robocop as I kinda mentioned. Again, it's one of the older elites. So, oh, I dropped something. Looks like it was a little stand that I dropped. So it has like the rubber coat, which I don't necessarily love, but here is the big gold belt. And let's get Sting right out of there. There's not a hundred zip ties keeping him in, but no, he does look really nice. I'm pretty pumped about this figure. And I think right here behind me, I actually have, oh no, Robocop. Tell me it isn't so. Okay, I'm an idiot, I'll stop. RoboCop is not part of the NWO, but this is a nice sting. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go through the rest of the wrestlers here. We got Matt Riddle. I also picked up Ricky the Dragon Steamboat flashbacks. And again, the face isn't incredible or nothing, but I like the gi. We got this mask, which we all kind of decided was a black Sin Cara mask. And then outside of wrestling, I picked up Rocket here. Let's get him out. Rocket, he's gonna go on the Marvel shelf. And then we did Odin. And our last pickup here is this cool TMNT cup from the 90s cartoon. I think it's pretty damn cool. 
And they even gifted us an out-the-box t-shirt. That's kind of dope. In the uh, NWO Wolfpack style. I think that's pretty cool. See if I can do this with one hand for you. See, the rubber jacket makes it very difficult to fit Sting in there. Uh, but we're just gonna drop them right there like that for now. This is my glass case of action figures. I got it all split up by decade and kind of era, you know? Last thing I'll say here is thanks a ton for watching. My name is JR and remember, it's cool to be you. Peace. Oh, okay. You're in? Yeah, I'm in now. Who are you? I am... Are you boss, animal? I'm boss man. You're big boss man? Yeah, I'm boss man. All right, we're having ourselves a good old fashioned Royal Rumble right there here. I'm the hoaxer, I'm putting the herd on there it is, boss man. Road Warrior there Animal go. here. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Boom. Campaign. Oh, almost got through now. All right, how do you throw him out? Ugh, just did you just yeah, toss I just him? Tossed him? How did you do uh, that? Two buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Throw him out. Yeah. Ah, oh, Earthquake is putting the hurting on me, bro. Ah, uh, 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 I just got power bomb. Oh, I suplexed him. Okay, we have uh, one of the demolition coming out now. Nice, nice. Another body slam. So how did how did you throw him? I'm not sure. I was just tapping. tapping just button mashing. Yeah, yeah button always matching. pile drive me into next week, dude. Uh, Look at me. I'm running like a madman. Oh no, you're the boss man. I'm coming for your ass, dude. Uh, oh, back and forth. No, come on, Can Hulk. Can I get a yeet? Come on, Hulk! Oh, oh I no. threw you out! You're out! No, no, no. I'm still there. Get him out, Hulk. Oh, no. Do it, Hulk! Wait, how are there pinfalls? This is a right? Royal Rumble! Right? <laughs> this is just a free-for-all, bro! Just gonna take a rest. Pin him! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! I got the pin! One! No, oh. he kicked out! Oh, I think I have to mash! Oh, uh, I just threw another Holy guy. Holy smokes, man! I, how a are you D. doing that? A, a and D together. A and D? Yeah, I think. Uh. Uh. You're going out. You're going out. Nope. I'm throwing you out. A and D. Uh, okay. I'm coming for you, dude. Where you at? Look at me. I'm hurting. I'm the hiding. holster is hurting, bro. Oh, wrong way. If you throw... No, no, no! Oh, no! I kicked out. Mr. Perfect's coming. Yep. Oh, man. Nah. There you go. There you go. That's a good face pounding. You got Where me. You I'm out. out. Uh, that's it. Disqualified. Screw this game. I'm out of here. Oh, that's I'm one out. way to leave, right? Rigged. Let's go. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> nah, f that. Rematch, dog. Yeah, no, right. <laughs>